guys welcome back to my channel i am finally back with another hair video i know it's been a while but guess what i'm finally about to do i mean i know you guys already saw the title but your girl is finally gonna straighten her hair and i'm gonna show you guys my process of how i do that <music> because I am going to straighten my hair my blow drying routine is just a little bit different from the routine that I showed you guys um, in a past video this time I'm going to be using what's in this cup so I don't know if you guys got a good look at it but at the bottom it's the blow drying cream that I did use before by Eden Body Works and I also have argon oil in there for thermal protection uh, Jamaican black castor oil, some flower oil, and a little bit of keratin oil. So I'm going to go ahead and mix all these up together so that I can have a nice oily, creamy texture for my hair. So this is what it looks like all mixed up together. Can you guys see it? Okay, so yeah. So I already have my freshly washed hair. Y'all, my hair, <sighs> I was having another bad hair day. <laughs> even worse than last time so it took me an hour just to detangle my hair but that is okay it is back it is revitalized again <laughs> um it smells wonderful so check out my other video on how i bring my hair back to life but y'all i am so excited to finally straighten my hair it has been seven long months seven long months and on top of straightening my hair i'm gonna check out my ends after i blow dry it to see if i need to trim my ends but outside of that yeah let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, so I am back from blow drying all of my hair, but I'm still not finished blow drying everything, only because although I do love my blow dryer, it doesn't do a very good job getting the roots on the first try. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more argon oil just for some extra heat protection. And I'm gonna go through my whole head just to make sure that I really get my roots. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna see if my hair needs to get a trim, which it looks like it. I can use a little bit of a trim so that when I do straighten my hair, I'm not gonna have like the real ragged ends. So I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors and I'll be right back. Okay, so got my scissors and by no means necessary am I professional at this. I just am too lazy and too cheap to go to someone to trim my own hair. Um, I've had some bad experiences in the past with going to the stylist, so I like to do it myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna find pieces that may have like the little balls. I don't know really what to explain it. Um, split ends, I guess, but any noticeable split ends I'm gonna cut. And I am actually seeing a lot of it. See, I do love being a natural, but I will say keeping your curls all the time I think creates a lot more split ends because your hair likes to get all caught up with each other so but shh, this looks like oof, I can't cut all that off I don't want to cut that all off oh got to oh yeah I gotta cut like an inch off that's all right and when I'm trimming 
whatever area I have, I like to just kind of go with the same pattern that my hair is in, just so that it doesn't look too crazy once I straighten it and once I put my hair back into its natural state. <laughs> length of course I didn't trim off that much um so but yeah I'm going to go ahead and twist my hair back so that I can you know do go run some errands and whatnot and then I'll be back to straighten my hair okay guys so I'm finally back from running my errands aka sleeping I did mean to go out and do a couple of things, but your girl was so tired, like I had to catch a couple of Z's before I did anything. But yeah, now I'm here. I've got my hair in those two twists that I had mentioned, and I'm surprised they're staying like this. Like, if my edges weren't so messed up and if they're a little neater, this would be kind of cute. It would be kind of cute. But nonetheless, I am excited to get started on straightening my hair. So. Got my rat tail comb, and this is the straight iron, flat iron, that I'll be using my one and only Argan Heat. There's a name on the side. This is probably my third time using this straightener, and it works very well. I used to use a keratin infused one, but they discontinued it for some reason, and that one was absolutely bomb. Like, wow. But as always, they, they discontinue all the good stuff. So, but this one is just as good. So uh, the temperature settings go by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 30. And when I straighten my hair, I never put it all the way up to 30 because I don't want to sizzle my hair out. So I think I'm gonna, I'll put it right at 25. Yeah, right at 25, hope you guys can see it. I'm going to start with the bottom portion of my hair, or I said bottom portion, I'm going to start with the back portion of my hair, so I'll clip that part up, okay, and there we go. So I like to work in smaller sections, not super duper small but about this size, what is this? About half of a finger length. So maybe about inch and a half. And the thickness isn't really too thick either. So this should already be hot. It says it takes 30 seconds to warm up. So, ooh, yeah, here we go. I'm so excited. It has been seven long months. Oh, okay, okay. So just out of habit, I always go over uh, from the roots to about the middle of that section a couple of times, and the same from the middle section down. And I try not to. <coughs> Ooh, that smoke just went in all the wrong places. Wow. Okay. So I try not to go over the. Um, my ends too much because I don't want to sizzle them out too much and they're the oldest part of your hair so you really don't have to go over it many times but yeah this section is this section is basically done let me do the ends one more time y'all I'm getting excited <laughs> I'm getting excited y'all look at my hair <laughs> look at this oh my gosh like even after I trimmed it Okay, okay, bear with me. This is gonna be a long process because I am way too excited right now. Okay, wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so for some reason, I don't know, I'm a little OCD, I guess, about how I straighten my hair. I always gotta do one side, the other side, then the middle, why, I don't know. So that's why I'm jumping to this side. Ow, I just burned myself a little bit.
and sometimes I use my comb just to make sure that my hair is nice and detangled in it by iron smoothly. just tripping because when you go from having curls for so long and the shrinkage is always so real maybe I'm just tripping right now thinking my hair grew but it actually didn't so I'm gonna go ahead finish this out do the same process for my whole head and I will come back with the final result because okay just because so I'll be back Voila! <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm not 100% done yet, but ooh, I got inches! Oh snap! Okay, don't judge just yet, because like I said, I'm not done, y'all. Look at this ponytail. Ah, ah, I was my hair back and forth. Okay, sorry. So yeah. Here is the final product. Hopefully you guys can see all the way. And no, my head is not tilted, okay? My hair is really almost down to my butt. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So as you guys can see, the, the ends look pretty jagged, but that's because, like I said, I only run over them about one time. So we're gonna fix that right now. Let me just see if I see any split ends because like I did earlier, I trimmed my hair. Um. I am probably a stylist worst nightmare when it comes to this trimming stuff, but that's okay. I'm happy, my hair is happy, so we good and good, we good. Okay, so Okay, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm gonna take a wider tooth comb, this one right here, and I'm going to comb this out. Now remember earlier I said I only put my straightener or my flat iron to 25 out of 30. Now I'm gonna put it all the way up to 30. Again, I'm gonna make sure all my hair is nice and together. And once it finishes heating up, I'm just gonna go over the whole section together. about or the only thing that I need to learn how to do is be able to give it just a little bit more volume 
like I wish I can give it the volume like a silk press I'll learn one day um I really want to try that chai chi however you say it silk infusion spray so whenever I get my hands on that I'll definitely do that but I'm probably not going to straighten my hair again for another six to seven months so that won't be for a while but yeah okay so I'm almost done I'm gonna do two more steps so I'm gonna take I haven't done this step in a while but I'm gonna take this Vanille Fructis Sleek and Shine um, hairspray and I'm gonna just lightly very lightly put a little bit on my hair just a little bit because once my hair, like I'm trying to prevent it from frizzing and stuff because I'm not going to go over my hair a whole bunch of times in the next few days with my flat iron. This is the one and only time I will flat iron my hair. So I just I'm going to make sure that it lasts as long as possible. Once my hair starts to frizz up and look a hot mess, I'm just going to probably put my hair into a couple braids and then go about Wash it again, washing it again. So I know hairspray is not the best. So I have all that alcohol and stuff in it, but it helps to hold my straightened hair a little bit longer. Okay, cool. And then turn my flat iron on so I don't burn the whole building down. The very last step I'm going to do is apply this keratin oil, y'all. This is the GOAT. And I'm so mad that OGX decided to discontinue it. Like I have been using this stuff since probably 2014, 2013, somewhere in that area. And it was seven or $8 per bottle. And then a few years ago, I couldn't find it. And I ended up messaging OGX like, where is it? They said they discontinued it, and I still don't understand why. They never said why. They always say, oh, we're gonna let our team know and we'll do our best to accommodate. Try these oils, and I'm like, no other oil that you guys have compares to this keratin oil. This stuff really is the holy grail. It really, really is. But just as it's finishing, I'm just gonna spray a little bit, just a little bit, because this is all I got left. Just a tad. Oh, when's it going to come out? Come on. I know it's been a while. Here we go. Ooh, and it smells so good, y'all. Wow. If you didn't know, your hair is made out of keratin. So that's another reason why I like to use it because this is what my hair is made out of. Okay. I'm going to do one last combing. Give it a little bit. Give it a little bump. Bump, bump, bump. I mean, I got a little bit of a bump, a little bit of volume, a little bit of bounce with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean, okay. Ooh, look at that fan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put my inches shirt on so that I can do a length check. But yeah, this is my final product, y'all. Y'all about to see me acting up because when my hair is straightened, ooh, 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 I'm another person. I'm another person. All right, y'all. So I got my shirt on. So really old shirt that I decided to put some inches on on the back. Let me just show you. I'm pretty sure I got the idea years ago when um, I saw Hairfinity had one, but I was too cheap to buy their shirt, so I just made my own. But y'all ready? I just I already looked. I already know where it's at. But are y'all ready? Cause ooh, okay, okay. And I want y'all to know, I do not twist or turn my neck or anything when I do these. I try to keep my head as neutral as possible i don't understand why some people will one 
put a picture of their hair, you know, like this, you know? And then their next picture will be like this. Oh my gosh, my hair grew. No, your head turned. That's what it was. Stop doing it. But, okay. Can y'all see it? Look at where it's at. I know I probably still need to trim some of my ends, but my hair is always pointed at the end. I always keep it pointed. I don't like the, the flat cut or anything like that, but yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's at number 13. Um, it doesn't seem like much has grown, but my hair really has. Like, not only has it gotten longer overall it's like my hair is starting to even out because this if i can find some pictures let me insert them but this has gotten so long it has almost caught up to you know the rest of my hair and honestly this used to be maybe here on my chin so my theory is once all the hair starts to even itself out, then it's really gonna grow. That might sound weird, but that's my theory. That, I don't even know what I was about to say. I just got distracted again. I need to stop looking in the mirror. Okay, but either way, thank you guys for tuning in and sticking with me all the way to the end. Make sure if you haven't done so already that you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to your girl's channel. You like and leave me a comment. Let's have some type of conversation. But outside of that, I will see you guys soon again with another video.